7.08 a.m. The video opens with a toothbrush hanging out of Kenma's mouth, foam at the corner of his lips. Hi guys. He mumbles, waving quickly before taking out his toothbrush, spitting out the paste. Sorry, that's probably a gross way to start a video but today is a special day for you all because you're all about to see an exclusive peak of a day in my life. He sets his camera down on the sink to rinse out his mouth and then gargle a dark blue mouthwash. Once he finishes up, he grabs his camera again. It's already 7 a.m. over here which is earlier than I'd usually wake up to be honest but whenever Karu's home on the weekends, I tend to wake up at this time. Weird, I don't know. He walks out the bathroom and records the hallway that's filled with picture frames instead of himself. When he reaches the kitchen, the camera picks up on his half-naked boyfriend in just grey joggers, cooking breakfast for the two, showing off his faint muscular built. It surely was a sight for Kenma and his viewers. Kenma puts down the camera on the kitchen island counter, making sure Karu was still in the frame. Morning. The smaller yawns, hugging his boyfriend from behind, resting his forehead against his toned back. Karu doesn't flinch from the unsuspected touch but he chuckles and moves the scrambled eggs around in the frying pan. Morning, Kenma. I'm so tired. He sighed, letting go of the taller so he can finish cooking for them. Karu turns off the stove and places the hot frying pan on the last burner so the pair won't accidentally knock against it. Karu turns around and frowns at Kenma's still half-asleep state, he picks him up from his waist and sits him down onto the counter that's beside the stove. Karu steps in between Kenma's legs, the camera still rolling. So go back to sleep after breakfast, okay. Karu kisses his forehead before slowly trailing down to his lips, Kenma shakes his head, wrapping his arms around his boyfriend's neck. The camera is on. Huh. Even though Karu's shoulders are blocking Kenma, Kenma nods his head in the direction of the camera on the counter that's in front of them. The camera, I'm recording. Uh, a surprise sex tape. Karu asked, genuinely confused, Kenma is really thankful the camera can't see his deep blush and wide eyes before he scowled a little. He unwraps his hands from Karu's neck to softly hit his chest out of mortification. No I'm recording something for the fans. Hum, what is it? A day in my life, I'm going to be recording all day so my fans can see what I usually do on Saturdays. Like a vlog. That way our bond can be closer, you know and more profit too. Karu laughs, shrugging, running his large hands up and down Kenma's thighs, squeezing them every so often. I guess. I wouldn't know, I don't have supporters. Kenma mockingly scoffs at that, raising an eyebrow. Yeah right, you need to see my comment section. Half of them want you to become a YouTuber with me on this channel. At that, Karu turns around so he can face the camera directly, he shoots a sad apologetic smile, acting as if he was actually speaking to the fans themselves. Kenma thought it was cute. Sorry guys, that won't be happening. Such a dream crusher. Hush. Karu turns back around and kisses Kenma again, this time much more longer and languid, sliding his hands up to squeeze the smaller's waist teasingly, grinning when he can feel Kenma holding back a whimper. Okay. Kenma pulls away, placing his hands on his boyfriend's bare broad shoulders, giving him a pointed look. That's enough, I'm recording for the fans. Talk about false advertising. If that camera wasn't there, you'd be all over me right now. I'm filming for YouTube, not RedTube. Karu laughs, stepping away from his boyfriend that's still perched on the counter, he walks around the island counter, taking out two porcelain plates from the cabinets. Breakfast is ready, by the way. And you're gonna serve me like the best boyfriend you are, right? Kenma purposely tilted his head in a cute way and Karu doesn't say anything, just grunts, but the camera can see him going to serve them both. Eleven thirty-five a.m. Right now we are heading to GameStop because this game freak here would much rather buy new games than hang out with me. Karu huffs out, buckling his seat belt dramatically and closing the car door with unneeded force. Kenma rolled his eyes, glancing at the taller before starting his car up. I know you're being sarcastic and all, but tone it down on the slamming. Karu bites his lip to keep back his smile, keeping his expression nonchalant. This is your punishment. You turned down my offer for a movie. Who wants to watch a movie on a Saturday? Especially this early. Uh, me. Sadly. You're so boring. All you do is play video games on the weekend. But then Karu looks at the camera, lifting up his right hand, holding up an index finger. I'm not dismissing games because they are occasionally fun. But to be playing 24-7, 7 days a week. No thanks. Exaggeration, Tetsu. Your obsession with video games is an exaggeration. It's literally a part of my job. Still an obsession. Is not is too, is not. 
Kuru pauses for a second and for a moment, Kenma thought that their silly bickering is over. Is too. Kenma just snorts in response at his boyfriend's petulant attitude, he continues controlling the car with his left hand on the steering wheel while the right reaches over to link hands with Kuru. Oh, Resident Evil 8. I already have that game and I beat it. Kenma comments, distracted, looking at all the games displayed on the shelves, sucking his tooth when he can't find what he's looking for, Kuru continues recording his boyfriend. You beat it. Yeah, like a couple of weeks ago. It's been a while. See, your obsession is unhealthy. That game just came out this year. Kenma ignores Kuru for the time being, still searching high and low for a certain game that Kuru doesn't even have a clue about. The only video games the older actually knows are the ones Kenma frequently plays, or the well-known ones. They turn another corner, Kenma getting more agitated the longer he spends walking around in the store, before a worker is walking over to them with an urgent hand held out in front of him. Sorry sir, you can't be recording in here. Kuru turns the camera around to wave apologetically at the lens, he then complies and turns it off. So, since you finally got the video game you wanted after searching for like a half hour, can we stop at a cafe so I can get myself a coffee? Kuru sweetly asks as soon as they sit down inside the car, buckling his seat belt once again. Kenma puts the plastic bag that has the video game inside it behind him and onto the back seat. You just had one on our way here. So, Kenma looks at Kuru, shaking his head, but he had a hint of a smile tugging at the corner of his lips. Sure. One twenty-three p.m. Kuru looks at the camera with a tiny pout making sure the camera also shows Kenma leaning over his own knees, wide eyes staring intently at their flat screen, wireless remote control in his hands. He literally hasn't put the game down since we've been home. He passed on his responsibility of recording the video for his channel to me. Nice. Kenma doesn't even cast a look at him to show he had been listening to his boyfriend's sarcastic comment, instead, he curses under his breath thumbs repeatedly pressing buttons so frantic and hard, it's a miracle the remote is still held together in one piece. Kuru turns the camera around so it records the game Kenma is playing for a few seconds. He's no gamer so he can't exactly tell his viewers what the game is called but so far it has a lot to do with hiding under beds and Kenma being chased by insane people and some ghost god that wants him dead. I'm going in our room and taking a nap. Kuru says aloud, but knows his boyfriend isn't even listening like always when he's gaming. Kuru knows it's a good thing he accidentally left the camera recording on their bedside drawer because it catches Kenma sneaking in a half hour later. The smaller tiptoes over to him, trying to be as quiet as he can and kisses his forehead before slipping into bed beside him, wrapping an arm around Kuru from behind. 4.03 PM. Kenma rubs his tired eyes, yawning. I can't believe I slept for almost three hours. Watch me not even be able to sleep tonight. Ugh, you're telling me. Kuru stretches on the couch, sprawled all over it, flipping through channels with boredom evident on his face. Why is there never anything good on nowadays? There is. You're just not looking hard enough. I literally looked through the entire menu three times. Then how about Netflix? Kuru's head perks up at that, he smirks over at his boyfriend like the annoying ass he is. Netflix and chill. You're so, uh and nobody even says that anymore. Kenma grabs a throw pillow to hit his boyfriend's head with, Kuru avoids it by raising his hand, stopping the pillow before it can make contact with his face, he looks up at Kenma with a mischievous glint in his eyes. Do you know what you just started? No, no wait. Kenma laughs a stutter, backing away as soon as Kuru gets up to walk closer over to him, the pillow dangling from his hand. I have the camera in my hands. So put it down, Kenma. I can't. Kenma nearly curses in fright when Kuru reaches him but he dodges the pillow, running across the living room, dangerously sliding across the wooden floorboards thanks to his socks. Kuru, no. My camera. He mindlessly records the floor while running all over his house. You asked for it. Kuru sings songs, still chasing him with a shit ton of energy. He successfully traps Kenma in a corner, the camera right in front of his face, he drops the pillow he had picked up earlier and grabs the camera from Kenma's own hands. He sets it on the floor, making sure it records the two of them from that angle. Kenma tilts his head confused at what Kuru's planning but his curiosity gets answered when the taller pulls him away from the corner, easily bringing Kenma to his knees with a hand on his neck. Kuru, what the hell? Kuru ends up straddling him, pinning his wrists up above his head with one strong hand. Kenma begins to thrash around, kicking frantically and laughing uncontrollably when his boyfriend starts tickling him all over. 
Say you're sorry and how you should have never messed with the king, aka me, in the first place. Oh, and you love me. Kuru teases, still torturing his smaller boyfriend with his tickling. I I'm sorry. I'm so so sorry. Kenma hastily screams it out without any disagreements, still laughing, squirming under his boyfriend's weight. You're the K king and I should have never messed with Yu. I love you. I L love you. Do you hear that, everyone? Kuru finally spares his boyfriend, grinning over at the camera that had captured everything, Kenma pants heavily, too exhausted to even argue with him. I love you too. Kuru bends down, kissing him lovingly. Five forty-five p.m. We got Chef Kuru in the kitchen once again. Kenma announces dramatically in his flat voice when he steps out their bedroom, camera in his right hand. Kuru looks over his shoulder and stops stirring the rice, smiling at the camera and his boyfriend. Food's almost done. He turns down the stove so it's on low. I'm so lucky. Kenma dramatically sighs, taking a seat on the stool by the island counter, drumming his fingers against the marble. Always cooking breakfast and dinner for me. You only love me for my cooking. I am neither confirming or denying that. Kenma jokingly replies back and Karu pretends to be hurt by placing a hand over his heart. Babe, can you get me the soda in the fridge? Karu leans back against the counter, like he couldn't just walk a few more steps and do it himself. Lazy ass. Kenma rolls his eyes, setting the camera down on the counter, hopping off the stool to get the soda. When Kenma turns his back, it makes sense to the smaller on exactly why Karu didn't want to get the drink himself. A loud smack can be heard echoing throughout the kitchen, as well as Kenma's loud surprised gasp. Tetsu, what the hell? Kenma yells, whipping his head around to glare at his immature boyfriend that was throwing his head back in triumph laughter. And I only love you for your ass. 8.16pm. I'm actually dying right now. Kenma grumbles, wiping his sweaty forehead with a balled up tissue, the faint sound of the shower running can be heard in the background. I told you to join me. Kuru opens the shower curtain a tiny bit, water droplets dripping down his face like those dramatic commercials advertising good-looking men, he glances at the camera and then his boyfriend sitting on the closed toilet lid. Me with you in the shower is never a good thing. You're crazy. All wonderful things happen in here. Kenma dismisses what Kuru is so obviously hinting at turning the camera around so it shows him sitting on their toilet. Anyway, this is a part of the vlog. If we were both in the shower, there'd be nothing to record. Oh, there'd be lots to record. Anyway, Kenma repeats again, much louder this time purposely. Karu's boisterous laugh sounds ten times louder in their bathroom, it had the younger wincing, blocking his ear with one hand. The fans have been asking for a house tour and this is kinda close to one as well. I guess. All you're doing is recording you and our shower curtain, kitten, even I know that's not a house tour. Uh, shut up. Kenma playfully rolls his eyes, he continues recording himself and he even shows fans a few of the hair and face products he uses before having no choice but to call it quits. Okay, I know I just said this was a part of the vlog but I'm sweating in here with that damn steam and the camera keeps fogging up. So I'll just turn it off for now. 10.25 PM Kuru had stubbornly told Kenma to keep their bedroom light off since he was trying to sleep so Kenma begrudgingly complied by using the night vision on his camera. He's such an old man. Kenma whispers, still being considerate for his now fast asleep boyfriend besides him. It's only like 10. There's a small sniff coming from his left but then the room is back to being dead silent. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to bed now as well. I'll edit this video tomorrow morning so it can be all ready for Wednesday's upload. I hope you all enjoy this at least. Because my life wasn't really as exciting as you'd thought it would be. You're still recording. Karu mumbles, his voice sounding much ten times huskier, thick with sleep, he turns around and grabs the camera from his boyfriend's hands. Hey, I wasn't done. Good night, guys. My boyfriend here needs to turn this crap off and sleep. So thank you for watching, um, I'm half asleep, hold on. Karu groans, tightly closing his eyes before he finishes, sounding somber as hell. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more and blah blah. Kenma grabs the camera again before his boyfriend can turn it off. Karu sighs in protest but wraps an arm around Kenma's middle, kissing his neck before laying his cheek on top of Kenma's hair. Kenma's lips tugged into a small smile as he looked at his sleepy boyfriend before he turned to the camera. Bye guys, he simply said and the video ends.